Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Chroma Squad. In the previous episode, we took on two episodes which turned out to be shorter than I thought they would be. Not short enough to include them in the episode before that, but hey. Oh, and before I forget, let me remind you that voting is still open for the first storyline that we'll be tackling on Chroma Squad. So far, there's only one vote, so head down to the description and click on the straw poll link there to get started. But without further ado, we don't really have anything else to take care of, so... How about we record the season finale of Season 3? Betrayal. What? Why? Is this episode title even right? Wait a second, and what about this description? What is going on? Destroy 10 Toxic Sprouts, defeat Boss Monster with a finishing move. Defeat Monster with a final strike, execute 6 perfect attacks. Defeat all minions. Hmm, something happening after a mecha fight? That's not... something that typically happens. Oh well, I'm sure it's nothing. Is this the season finale already? Already? It felt like forever to me with the way Flair has been acting. Eh, you can't argue with the results, though. We have a lot more fans and money now. That is true. Remember last season? We couldn't even pay the electric bill. Eh, at least we aren't fighting all the time. What happened to us? We used to be friends. Flair was always the one who kept us on the right track. Something is definitely up. Shh, Flair is coming. Ready for our last episode, Chroma Squad? Gaga's coming to visit. Maybe he has something new for me. Still a theme song. Hello, my glamorous team and flair. I've come to tell you that the Force Portal is now ready. And Flair, I'd like to tell you that you're the big reason this studio is doing so well. Yeah, keep inflating that ego, jackass. Also, I'd like to apologize for my plant friend. It doesn't obey me sometimes. But it is waiting for you now and things should go according to the script. By the way, do you mind if I wait here? I have an appointment nearby pretty soon. Make yourself comfortable. We're leaving, but we shouldn't take too long. Lovely. I'm gonna grab a cup of coffee. Alright, let's get back to the forest and finish the season. Nothing here. Is this the place? I'm not sure, but I remember that bridge. We should check further. Oh, it's you again. Gaga said you would be here. I've been rooted here for quite some time waiting for you. What is the keyword for checking on the portal? Is this some kind of password check? I didn't hear Gaga say anything about it. No password? Then get over my dead vines. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the whole idea. Oh dear, plant. It's time for you to wither. Well, at least it wasn't a pun. Lights! Camera! Chromatize! Well, at least I don't have to worry about building it up this time. But it also means I'm missing out on a... Uh, full heal. Nah, it's not close enough to pull him. But I can use join up to pull everyone else here. How about you, Blizz? Yeah, just the right distance. I 
can't remember. Does he have an attack that hits multiple characters? Nope, one more way to find out. Oh, please tell me those first three, four are perfect distance for a multi-shot. No, wait, he doesn't have a multi-character hit, but he does have a, uh... A, uh... Ba -ba 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 -ba. He does have a movement slower. Now, I, unfortunately, I can't get all four of those, but I can get three of them. Actually, I could have. He just miscounted. But whatever, that's three Toxic Sprouts down. Seven to go. So you, let's use a Lightning Dagger on him. And a regular attack on this. No sense in wasting a powerful skill. Won't be able to get that one. At least not this turn. And maybe? No, there's no way her bow's gonna have the range to do that. But it is gonna have the range to do this. Yeah, they essentially act as mines. And I think... maybe? I know that there's one enemy later on that has something similar where the attacks heal him, at least on one of the storylines. But I'm not entirely sure if it's him that also has it, or if it's just that one enemy. Hmm. Well, maybe I can pull this off. Flair going to teamwork? No. Dang it. I was hoping Flair could launch her here, do a square house kick to get rid of all of them. But no. Liz, you'd best get over there and take care of that one. Before I can do any damage. Okay, no, it doesn't heal him. Really hate that move. Okay, Blizz's multi shot is back online, so let's use it to clear out these toxic sprouts so that they're not a problem. And, you know, complete the director's instructions. Uh, Mika. You take out the Toxic Sprout. Everybody else, focus on taking down the big plant monster. Ooh, I know. Blair, get over here. Use your ego lasso. Draw him in. And let's go for a teamwork. Ah, the beauty of arranged teamwork moves. Ouch. But unsurprising. That's, uh... That's a lot of Toxic Sprouts. No point in going after him while these things still stand. And unfortunately, I already used up Blizz's multi-shot. Nobody really needs a heal, so... Well, may as well use the teamwork heal, seeing as I'm not going to get any further.
Okay. <clears throat> if I move everybody over towards the plant, they should be out of range of all but that one toxic sprout. Which shouldn't be a problem. Let's just start some teamwork going. Uh, Blizz, how about you get over here and use your multi-shot? Which was a stupid idea, because I forgot it had pushback. Or knockback, however you want to say it. Eh, whatever. Huh, did not know he could hit multiple people with that. Nah, I was hoping that would bring him down to, uh... Well, actually, no, I'm not gonna use my weapon. I was hoping it would bring him down to... Finish it levels. But apparently not. Let's see, Anixia, how about you get in there and just start wailing on him? As for Tyra... Use your circle of friendship. And Flare, keep beating down on him. I heard that. Now, here's the thing. There are actually two types of finishing moves. One that I've already shown you, and one that I have yet to show you. And, depending on how he moves, it may be more beneficial to me to... Use the other one, which unfortunately won't be happening. Alright, let me just get in here with Blizz and use multi shot. Just start getting everybody moved in. Because the other one I wish to show you really only requires. My lead, my scout, and my assault to get close to the big plant. this time. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Tyra, how about you and Blizz get over here out of the way? Because here's the thing. Because they're ranged, they don't have to be next to him. They just have to be in range. years. This is gonna hurt. Wait, how did that one heal him that time? Ugh. How far can he move that far? And, of course, Flare can't get in range, but she can pull him in. Okay, join up. Flare, pull him in. Start your teamwork. Nika, you do the same. Nixia, you do it. Liz, you do it. And Tyra. Use your bow. Yeah, there's a weapon-based finisher. Uh, 
but you have to do it while all of your party members do not, er, uh, while all of your party members' weapons are not on cooldown. You'll see this plant grow. We can't let that plant grow out of control. Imagination! Execute six perfect attacks. Well, that shouldn't be too difficult. As long as I don't have to do them in a row, at least. Ah, oh, what's the matter, you giant overgrown weed? Upset that you can't get an attack in? Well, don't worry, I'll screw up at some point. Like right there. Apparently if I miss, he just gets a free attack. You know, I really like that they made the uh, mecha fights more timing and skill based rather than, you know, just giving you a random chance to hit your target like they do with XCOM 2. Disable spandex armor's effect. Did you see how real that plant looked, Flare? Yeah, Mika. I had that impression, too. These costumes must be costing us a lot. Exactly my feeling during that Portal episode, Mika. It was really weird. Beep, beep. A message from Gaga. Dear friends, meet me ASAP at your studio. It's urgent, XOXO. We should probably check that out before recording anything else. A few moments later. Er, he ain't here yet. Should we be worried? Maybe this is the moment that when you've done everything that he asked you to, Flare. And he thinks that you are not useful anymore. I believe he is just... My lovely little monsters. Thanks a lot for everything you've done for me. Especially you, Flare. Likewise. Oh, hold on. How did you teleport into our scene without the visual effects? Let's just say I don't really belong here. My place is somewhere else. I've used you all like tools. Now my evil plan is almost complete. <laughs> what? You have used us? Why? How? My true name is Lord Gaga, and I'm one of the great generals of the universe. My mission here is almost complete. You know the audience booster that you even paid for? I thought it was free. I used it to convert your show's audience into energy to open my real monster portal. And with all the audience of this season, I can finally bring my monsters to conquer Earth. You what? How is this even possible? And how could you do such a thing? Reality hits you hard, Blizz. I get it, but get used to it. No pun intended. Thanks, Flair, for leading these bunch of fools into my trap. 
You have money and fame now. Isn't that what you wanted? To obtain something, you must give something up. And I'm giving you guys up. What should I do now, master? Dun, dun, dun! Why don't you just hit yourself in the face? That would be super fun. Whoa, she's the lead, not the assault. She doesn't hit that hard. Whoa. Now I need to head home, if you'll excuse me. Don't you dare leave this room, Lord Gaga! I guess we're just gonna live SmackDown on him. Works for me! Wait, what? He's defeated. I knew it! You are no ordinary actors. Regular human beings would never be able to touch me. We need to get rid of that audience booster as fast as we can. If this was real, and it looks like it is, the damage is already done. Destroying it wouldn't fix the problem, Anixia. The audience booster is messing with Flair's head. If we destroy it, maybe things can go back to normal. What if we did it like we do on TV? Go, Chroma Squad, go! You got it, Tyra. I will destroy that audience booster right now. No! Don't do it, Anixia! Why won't you break? Stupid machine. Stop that, Anixia. Bring Flair back to reality. Whoa, what happened? I feel like I just woke up from a nightmare. You were charmed by Lord Gaga and his audience booster. Enough of this nonsense. Take this, puny humans. Ouch. Stay out of my way, Chroma Squad. But the world needs help. Still alive, huh? Eh, my powers aren't as effective on Earth, it seems. I'm lay tired now. Some of my little monsters will enjoy playing with you. By the way, I copied your minion design because I just loved it so much. You will regret that, Lord Gaga. XOXO! This will be super fun, Chroma Squad. I must do something. I remember it now. My friends went through so much while I was being controlled. It's time for me to help them through this. Wow, that human just stood up. There's got to be a way. I believe I can do this for real. I need to try. In a desperate moment of courage, Flair shouted out, Lights! Camera! Chromatize! And something incredible happened. We might have a problem. This is for my friends. This is so fun. Taking a little bit too much pleasure at the moment, aren't you? Well, I was gonna say I'm gonna need to use my spear, but nope. Does not look like it. Ooh, gold tape. First time that's dropped, I think. Everyone, stand up! Lord Gaga has escaped. Uh, Flair? What happened? Hold on a second. Did we make Lord Gaga run away? We're just stunt actors. We've trained for many years, Mika. That probably helped are you wearing the armor? For real? 
This is crazy. Your armor doesn't seem to be made with duct tape anymore. Don't you remember anything, Flair? I tried to chromatize. It worked. That's too much to digest. I still have much to think about. Well, at least we have ourselves. Our world in p is in peril, and we must do something. But what can we do, Flair? All we have are props, cardboard, and our friendship. Oh, many Sentai shows describe friendship as a powerful force. Then friendship will be the foundation of our strength. Go, Chroma Squad! Lord Gaga used TV signals to bring his army to Earth. Will Chroma Squad be able to save us now? Right after the incident, while Chroma Squad was still recovering from Lord Gaga's betrayal, they hear something in Cerebro's chambers. And something goes wrong. Again! Oh snap, we just ran out of power. All it takes is one thing to go bad, suddenly they all go bad together. Wait, how is Cerebro working? Power's not back yet. Hmm. Hey, Blizz. Cerebro is actually working on its own. What? This is creeping me out. Hello, Chroma Squad. Yeah, it's talking by itself now. For the very first time, I'm talking to you without someone choosing my words. I woke up a few months ago when you decided to plug me in. I have been watching you, mortals. The time has come. You have been chosen by my power. So, first our friend Gaga uses our audi audience to open a portal to Monster Land. Then our text-to-speech device comes to life. WHAT IS HAPPENING HERE?! I'm no ordinary device. I was once a hero of my own kind. But after a final confrontation with Lord Gaga, I ended up like this. The world must not fall again into the hands of madmen. They have many allies on their side. Wait, what do you mean by their side? Lord Gaga's side, Anixia. I hope you are well prepared for what comes next. But we've been stunt acting for our whole lives. That's the only thing we're good at. The fights were fake, but all the training we had was real. Look, the power is back on. You must have many questions. In time, everything will become clearer. But right now, the world needs heroes. The world needs Chroma Squad. So, let's just get this straight. Cerebro is an actual real brain in a jar. Our powers are now somehow real. Hold up. <coughs> and Lord Gaga is some intergalactic evil entity who is now hell-bent on conquering Earth. Makes sense to me. Awesome! Hashtag want more. How dare Chroma Squad be so good and full of happiness. Flare is the best. The best! Go, go, go! No lights, camera, chromatized this week? Maybe they're redesigning the uniforms. What the hell are you talking about, Dario Mendes? Were you not paying attention to the entire episode? The best thing ever, but people's expectations for the next season are high. An extra 3,200 grand. Or 3,200. Nice. Ton of money to do a ton of stuff with. Let's just check the email real quick. School bullies. 
Hi there, Chroma Squad. I'm your super fan. You're always teaching people about how to act right and fight evil and be a hero. There are these kids on my school, I'm sure that should be in, though, who don't like being good. They pick on the smaller kids and are mean all the time. Can I borrow one of your laser pistols and fight them just like you fight Lord Gaga's monsters? How do they already know about Lord Ga- Well, I suppose that did technically air. Never escalate conflict. How could I have forgotten this? You're right as always. Heroes don't run away from a fight when there is no other option. But I'm sure I can make those bullies stop without having to be violent like they are. Thank you so much, Chroma Squad. Well, with that, there's a ton of new stuff for us to update. Like, an even bigger studio, along with some new equipment from the shop, I'm sure. Yep. But that's something I'm going to be doing off-camera because we are out of time for this episode. So, first off, don't forget to vote for the first storyline we'll be tackling, which is going to be coming up pretty soon. And... If you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.